My father came to the United States because there were a ton of opportunities within the U.S. And at the time, the United States, they had a shortage of folks who were in math and science. And India had a surplus of them. I think there was a lot of like, he felt as though he could do more in the States as opposed to India. And he wanted a new life in some ways. I mean, he has a big family. He loves his family but he just he wanted a change. My mother had no interest in living in the United States. Um, it was more of she had an arranged marriage, which was, you know, kind of what happens in India at the time. So, um, and at the, I think when she, it was arranged, she didn't even know my father lived in the United States. They actually didn't meet until their wedding day. My name is Mona. I'm a first generation Indian American. My parents are from Calcutta. They came to the United States in 1971, and this is my welcoming story. Bishesh, my dad's best friend, who picked him up from the airport, also picked my mom up from the airport. He was one of those guys, like he was just hilarious. I remember when I was little, he was the guy that like throws you up in the air and you're like terrified, right? <laughs> and does it when it's like way past the age for him to be doing that for you. <laughs> um, but he was, he had been here a year before my dad got here. So he was basically, and there's this thing about Indians, like, they become like experts really quickly, or they think they are. So like, by the time my dad is here, like, let me tell you, sir, like, I know everything around it. Like, I am a man about town. Like, don't you worry. I know where the girls are. I know where the best parts are. Like, that was him, right? Um, which was great for my dad, because my dad knew nothing. My parents had never seen dog food before. They thought that dog food was real food, like that humans ate. And they bought it, they brought it home, and like their friend was like, no, 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 <laughs> it's dog food, right? Like, they didn't know that. No one had keeps pet dogs really in their area. So like things like, you know, it's like from like little stupid things to to emotional character building. You just you need people around you. You need you need support systems. He in some ways bonded the two of them. They didn't know each other. Having somebody else around that could like joke around with them, it made it less awkward. Bishash was so adventurous. Like he was like, we're gonna go like take a road trip, you know, out to Niagara Falls, and make them do stuff with him, which I don't think they would have done on their own. I think that he opened their mind a lot because he really embraced the American, you know, world and, and everything around it. And I think that it let them do that too. If I had something to say to Bishash, I think I would say, I, I would thank him. They felt like Americans in some ways because they were experiencing American things. They were going on road trips. They were eating at Chinese restaurants. I would thank him for, for helping them and supporting them. So I could be here.